Today's Cube Fabulous Home Office Edition guarantees to make you feel better about your home, your office, and most certainly your physique. Meet Eric. I love it! Or as Howard Stern fans know him, High Pitch Eric. No one has ever given me anything like this in my entire life. I noticed that your home smells of feces. Come on, man! <laughs> and while other makeover shows claim to care about their participants, only Cube Fabulous is willing to amputate. <laughs> Uh, my name is Eric Blumen. Ah, oh, a lot of traffic now this time of day. They call me high pitch Eric because of my high pitch voice I have. I love Dunkin' Donuts. I have a home office. I mean, my desk, you know, my computer I work at. My job, basically, in my home office, I basically get, pe you know, get, get book people for jobs, appearances, including myself, too. I need a new cubicle. I need room. I need space. I'm dreaming about Las Vegas. I love Vegas. Because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Oh, what's up? Hi. 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 We're the Cube Fabricators. Hi, this is me. This is Megan. And this is Jeff. Jeff, nice to meet you. We and, make over lives one cubicle at a time. Or in your case, a uh, home office of sorts. Home space. I noticed that your home smells of feces. So, um, how long have you lived here? Since 96. You've done a lot with the place, as I yeah. can see. I mean, this place should be condemned. Should We should, you know the favor that we do to him? It just takes him like police tape and just block it and board the place up and just torch it. <coughs> Eric, I hope you won't be offended, but I'm serious, I think I'm allergic to your life. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Jeff was about to vomit, which, of course, being that we were in Eric's place, means that he would have vomited on feces. What's that gonna smell like? I swear, I'm not going back in there. You guys, I, you have to give me a mask or something. I mean, I need a respirator. This, this is what people use to paint their house. I'm gonna go into the bathroom. I, got, I, I just, I, I'm in utter disbelief. Oh! Come on, man. Hey, Eric. Yes? There's a log of shit in your bathtub. I know, I know. Is it yours? No, 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 no. Look, man, I mean, I'm no, I'm, no, uh, I'm no great housekeeper either, but uh, when I see a big turd in the bathtub, I know it's time to clean. I gotta use the bathroom. Should I just go in the corner or? Yeah. Seriously. I don't care, it's a mess anyway. Seriously, you do not care. I don't care. You sure you don't mind? I don't mind at all. All right. Jeff asked me if you could piss in the corner in my apartment. I said, sure, absolutely. I guess this does make life a little easier. Should Jeff have peed on Eric's floor? It's a tough one. So I saw on your audition tape that you like a Las Vegas theme. I have not even paid attention to one word coming out of his mouth because I'm so afraid I'm going to pass out. And God forbid I pass out on that floor. I think I need to go into some sort of unit to get hosed down. Eric, have you had someone look at that toenail? The toe. The toe looks like something out of, out of some sort of laboratory. Eric has no idea about anything that's happening south of his nipples. What? I had a uh, ingrown toenail a while back and that nail never grew back normal. It's, it's big and green and it's, it's no one, can you know how a toe normally lays like a nail? It's now up. It's perpendicular to his foot. Jeff's a consultant, I have a medical background. We knew that there were some health issues happening at Eric's place. We did what we had to do. We went shopping. Why'd you pee in the corner of the apartment? Where else was I gonna go? The toilet. No. There was nowhere else to go. The, 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 the bathroom was disgusting. It wasn't even worth my urine. I just
just think that he's going to get a lot of work done around here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a gambling man already. I mean, he's been gambling with his life with that infected toe for quite a while. I spoke to a physician, a friend of mine, mm -hmm. who said that if he is showing signs, black lines up his calf, that means he's got a number of days to live. Literally, days. To live or to for live. the leg to No, because he'll get sepsis. Infection sepsis. of the blood, yeah, sepsis. and he'll die. If he does die from sepsis in the next couple of days, do you feel as though we would have wasted all of our time here? No, because we got 30-day return policy. We're gonna all go back. Oh, perfect. This is a huge moment. We've been working through the night just to get this all prepared for you. Open that door. Open that door. So open when that door. your home workstation is never going to be the same once I open this door. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm dying to see this. All right. Let's do it. Open that door. Open that door. What's up, man? Wow. I love it. I love it. I don't know what to say. I love it. I love it. I love it. I have to love it. I mean, do, do you really love it, though? I love it. Also on these makeover shows, they'll not only make over the person's living quarters, but they'll often make over their, their well-being as well. I consulted a physician friend of mine, said that the toe has to go or Eric will go in about four days. If you have black lines, okay, that means your blood's infected from your toe and that you have a number of days to live. What? Can we see your toe? Let's see the foot. I'm not even joking. Do you have black lines? Jurassic times call for drastic measures. And I have a little extra surprise for you. What happened to that? The nail fell off. My doctor friend said that the toe is probably a goner and that to be on the safe side, you just ought to lose the foot. So, oh, I thought we'd just no. go ahead and do it. No way. All right, put your hey, foot. Come here. It won't hurt. No way, no way. What? Come on. I'll hold no his legs. It's I'll hold just your a toe. You don't know it. I was ready to do it. I looked on the web, did a little search for amputation. I was set. Come on, he got a steady hand. No. Lose a foot or lose the leg? No way. No, 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 no thank you. No, thank you. No? No. No? All right, well, we tried. Let it be known, we tried. It made me feel good that Jeff was worried about me, about my toe, and he wanted to cut my foot off. Eric, you've seen these home makeover shows where they redo the entire person's house? Right. Well, we're on internet, and we don't have that budget. So we were only able to do your office. So let me show you the rest of the house. We changed Eric's life. No, oh, just, like, just the way I left it. Well, I think it's more like just the way you like it, isn't it? So Eric, uh, this brings me to a moment of unpleasantness. Remember yesterday when I uh, took a leak in the corner right there? Yeah. Well, uh, today, I gotta go number two. Okay. Do you have a preference for uh, where you'd like me to go? Wherever you wanna go. Wherever I wanna go. Yeah. So sweet. He's the You are nicest. such a good host. Thank you. Eric is the host of hosts. He let me take a leak in the corner of his apartment yesterday. Eric, oh. is the bed all right? That's fine. Okay. And today, when nature called, Eric said I could drop a deuce in the middle of his bed. Jeff's a nice guy, and I'll do anything for Jeff. And if he wants to drop a deuce in my apartment, I'll let him. So, um, Eric, it's fun. Thank you. You're a fun guy. Thank you. Well, it's just that, that my faults and my, you know, my inadequacies pale in comparison to his whole life. Uh, you make me feel better about myself. That's yeah. the sweetest thing you've ever said. Um, well, on that note, I am going to go bathe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Get me the hell out of Queens. I'm with you. Vegas, baby! Vegas! Super Bowl! Sandy loves the pool. I have my mama come over here. And uh, dance for me, too. You ready to get your cube rocked on Cube Fabulous? Visit the Cube Casting Couch online at cubefabulous.com. You, next one. Thank you.